Hey guys, James with TFB TV here on the SHOT Show floor for SHOT Show 2020. I've got Al Casper with me from Savage. Uh, he is the big boss, the CEO. I said Casper, the friendly CEO, <laughs> nicest guy you'll ever meet. And he is the head of Savage. I wanted to talk to Al about the past, the present, and the future of Savage because you guys have had like some management changes or ownership changes. I mean, explain that to our viewers. Yeah, uh, well, I've been with Savage since uh, 1996, so it's been a long time. Uh, I've sold the company four times. So recently, uh, we were part of the Vista Corporation for the past six years. Uh, they made a strategic decision to sell three divisions one of which was Savage Arms to help reduce the overall leverage of the business. Uh, so that created an opportunity uh, for me to take the company back into the private sector. So uh, I called upon some uh, well-known private equity guys that I've been doing business with for many, many years uh, and uh, helped put together a group uh, with myself uh, to purchased the company and so uh, July 6th of last year Savage be became an independent private, privately owned company. So you're back in the driver's seat calling your own shots? Back in the driver's seat calling our own shots and it is wonderful to be out of the public marketplace. Joel has already been to visit you guys at Range Day and to, to your booth to talk about some new guns but what do you see for 2020. We can kind of go over what products you guys are introducing just briefly at the show and what you guys plan on unveiling for the rest of the year. Well, I think uh, for, for quite a number of years and uh, it never really uh, changed under the Vista ownership, we have continued to be the innovator. We, we've enjoyed that role. We've been doing it for quite a while. We love coming to the shows with something new and that has not diminished in any way. This year we have made a, a big splash with a couple of new guns. We have our first semi-automatic shotgun with a patented uh, uh, gas system in it. Um, it's made in the USA, something that we're very proud of. Uh, three and a half years in the making. Uh, we've brought out our ultralight rifle, 5.8 pounds, which you know the market's really been looking for a lightweight rifle, so we've given them that. We partnered with uh, Proof Research for the barrel. Uh, I've been working with them for about a year to kind of get the combination right. So we're really excited about that. And we've got probably half a dozen more new things. Uh, and, uh, you know, in an industry that we're in right now, uh, new is the one thing that sells. Right. So, Absolutely. So, you know, where, where we are, where we're going, I think 2020 as a, as a marketplace, uh, I've been exceptionally happy with the, the mood of the crowd this year. Uh, the, the overall sense from from uh, what we've seen the first two days, it's just uh, the dealers seem to be very upbeat for the first time in a couple of years. So, uh, you know, we're all optimistic that that, that kind of transcends for the rest of the year because we've had a couple of years, uh, you know, in the industry that haven't been, been very good. So, uh, you know, a lot of factors for that, things that, uh, you know, outside of our industry we can't control. So, you know, uh, for Savage, uh, now that we're independent um, and we have uh, some very good financial uh, resources behind the company, uh, I really think that you're going to see us continue to innovate and continue to grow internally. And then I think th there's a, a very good chance that you're going to see Savage uh, add on some, some, uh, some products that we don't currently have uh, through potentially some acquisitions or partnerships with uh, other people in the industry. Okay, and that relates somewhat to my, my next question. Where do you see Savage? It's 2020, yep. what about 2030? What's gonna happen? I mean, are we gonna see some handguns? Talk to me, I know, come on Al, we're, we're friends. Uh, yes. This isn't, it's only going on YouTube to 750,000 people. <laughs> yes, Savage will be in all segments of the firearm industry. There's no doubt about that. We're either gonna do it internally, we've got uh, we have a handgun in the works, and uh, we're and I'm looking at some other opportunities to potentially speed that up through through some acquisition. So clearly, you know, my mantra is to grow this business. Uh, we've been doing it for a long time, and it's time to maybe accelerate that a little bit. And, <clears throat> and I've got the backers now to to make that happen. And I also think. You know, with the industry malaise that we've been in, it's been very difficult for a lot of companies. And so, uh, strategically, I think there's a lot of opportunity or going to be a lot of opportunity for consolidation. 
So I think there's going to be some significant brands uh, and companies that are that are going to look for 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 partners to take them into the. And I think uh, and I'm looking forward to to being one of those people. So. I'm very excited about where Savage is going. That is exciting. And Al, I've got to say, I'm excited too, just to be able to talk to you. I'm humbled. Thank you <laughs> for appearing on our crappy YouTube program. You guys are always so high profile at every SHOT Show, and it sounds like it's just going to continue to grow bigger and bigger and bigger every year. Well, I've got a phenomenal team. They're excited. They're always excited. They're always coming up with new ideas. And, uh, you know, I just offer them encouragement and some resources to get it done. And, they, they've never disappointed me. So yes, the future is very bright for Savage, uh, and, and I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you, Mr. Casper, very, you very much. much. Guys, it. stay tuned. We're bringing you more from SHOT Show 2020.